This one's titled Violation, and this painting started out, what was underneath all the yellow was uh, really intense, and I had just kind of discovered RNF pigment sticks, and it was just so intense color-wise. But there were some interesting things happening in it, and I had it sitting around for a while, but I was not happy with it. It was just, it was too much. And so, um, again, thinking about the, the things that I talked about in um, Fork and Web, um, and the first one, the yellow, I, I felt like I needed to, I just had to, it's like all that color was violating. <laughs> So the yellow is something, yellow is like a beautiful color. And to me, it was a bit of a risk to put that much yellow down. So I, I slapped it down. And in, in some ways, um, and the reason I say slapped it down is that I wasn't sure what I was doing was going to even work. And it may end up being something that I paint over and, and work on later. But as I put the yellow down and started to like move it around, and reveal some of what was already underneath, there were things happening that were very interesting, I felt, and wanted to just kind of keep. And it also seemed to open the space up a little bit in this one. All these paintings have a very, I think, specific space. It's not, it's not deep, expansive, vast space, but there's a little bit of this tension between surface and uh, depth. So the yellow kind of came right to the front, and yet in some areas, you know, it would recede a little bit. So it, it worked out, and, and I stared at it for a long time before I decided, okay, I'm not doing anything else to it. Because originally, like I was saying, I thought I would go over it, and, you know, I'm not sure what was going to happen, but I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't sure that the yellow could remain, but it felt like it felt it felt like it could. 